All right, this is uh, an example of what Mr. Kirsch and I call the three steps. So in, in the three steps, when you have a, a problem that requires you to use an equation to find a numerical answer, um, this is just a way of um, giving you a system so that you know exactly how to show your work for the problem. It's going to look the same for every problem in general. The first thing you're going to do is you're going to list the variables, the numbers that are given to you in the problem. And sometimes you'll use words and sometimes you'll use variable letters depending on um, the, the problem and the equation that you're going to use to solve it. Then the next thing you're going to do is identify which specific equation you're going to use to solve the problem. And um, sometimes there's only one equation that you could possibly use. Other times it gets a little bit confusing. You might see the same variable show up in a couple different equations. So picking the right equation ends up being a pretty important step. And then in the last step, you solve the equation. You plug the numbers in and do the calculations on your calculator. And um, you should always put units along with your answer unless the problem specifically says not to. So um, the example I'm going to do for you, um, it, this is the same example that's in the um, printed document that um, is on Google Classroom. Um, this is the one that we did the other day in the uh, Introduction to Kinetic Energy assignment. The very last problem asked you to find the kinetic energy of a bowling ball that had a mass of 4.8 kilograms and a velocity of 7.6 meters per second. So the variables given in the problem are the mass of the bowling ball. So I'm going to write mass equals 4.8 kg. And you should do that too. You'd write the variable name or letter and then equals and then the number with units so that it's really clear that you know which information you're, you're being given in the problem. The other information that we had in that problem was that the velocity was 7.6 meters per second. So we would include that information as well. Again, we have the variable name, equal sign, the number, and the unit. It all goes in there. And then the next thing you're going to do is you're going to identify the equation um, that you would use to solve the problem. In this case, the equation was given in the assignment. There was only one equation, but you should still write it out. It's always a good habit to get into to write out the equation before you put any numbers in for the variables. So the equation we gave you was kinetic energy is equal to 0 0.5 times the mass of the moving object times the velocity of the moving object times the velocity again. So it's the velocity squared. You're multiplying it by the velocity twice. All right. So that's the equation we're going to use. And then the last step, you plug in the numbers and solve the equation to find your answer. So in this case, the kinetic energy is going to be equal to 0 0.5 times the mass of the bowling ball, which was 4.8, times the velocity of the bowling ball, which was 7.6, times the velocity again, which is still 7.6. And during this step of the three steps, I usually don't write units, and the reason is because um, sometimes the units get in the way. If you've got your equation written correctly and you've got your variables identified correctly, then once you get to this step, you can leave the units out. Um, and when I put that into my calculator, I found that the kinetic energy of the bowling ball ended up being 138.6 Four. And we specifically in this problem said, don't worry about units because we haven't told you about the units for energy yet. So you wouldn't need to worry about units. This in purple is everything that we will want you to write from now on anytime we ask you to solve a problem using the four, uh, using the three steps.